Agriculture Transformation in Focus, bringing you up to speed with developments in agriculture, livestock and fishery sectors aimed at increasing production and productivity to enhance food, nutrition and income security. Agriculture Transformation in Focus. the busy day-to-day -day trade, travel, and hard work lie the vast hectares of soybeans in Zambia's central province. The healthy green fields signal the beginning of massive soybean production in the province and Zambia at large, many thanks to the Enhanced Smallholder Agribusiness Promotion Program, ESAP. This is a, a good thing. It is a good idea because at least who will have a bigger acreage put under soya beans. That's the only way we can put money in the pocket of our farmers. ASAP is a 31.2 million US dollar project being implemented in all the 10 provinces of Zambia by the Ministry of Agriculture in partnership with the International Fund for Agricultural Development, IFAD. The program, which started in 2016 and ends in 2024, is promoting the soybean value chain in Central Province with particular focus on Kapirimposhi and Chwombo districts. Soybean is an important global crop because of its chemical composition of over 36% protein, 30% carbohydrates, dietary fiber, vitamins, and mineral salts. Therefore, investment in the soybean value chain by government and effort is inevitable. ESAP is um, training farmers in uh, soybeans production. We have the so-called FABs, is the farmer schools, business schools. Yeah, we have the category A farmers. Then we have also the category B. Those are people who are aggregators. They will engage farmers to grow soya beans on their behalf and buy and aggregate. Then in turn, they will sell the produce to the off-takers. Agribusiness in soya bean is slowly taking shape among women and youths in Kapirimposhi district. Promotion of the cash crop in the district by ESAP has inspired hundreds of youths and women farmers who have taken keen interest in growing soya beans for commercial purposes. This development has cheered many, including Kapirimposhi district agricultural coordinator Chiruba Wabarika. We are currently working with in, a, in all the seven blocks in the, in the district. And uh, in there we have about 10 camps with about 3,330 farmers participating actively in the, in the training. The program is designed in such a way that there is a particular ratio of who, who should be a participant in the, in the program. 30% mm, of the farmers are supposed to be women in the household. Then 25% are supposed to be the youths. 23% is supposed to be youth headed household, and then the rest, the remainder of the percentage is supposed to be for anyone else, as long as they, they fit into the selection criteria. Government and IFAD are not working alone to enhance the soybean value chain in Kapirimposhi. They have partnered with local service providers to promote citizen participation, decentralization, and most importantly, empowers Zambian citizens in the soya bean value chain. The service providers receive matching grants from ESAP to enable them loan farmers in form of inputs and after harvest buy the soya beans. Charumba Investments Limited is one of the service providers in central province that have received matching grants of over 2 million kwacha from ESAP mid-2020. Located in Wanshimba, a farming community south of Kapirimposhi district, the farm sits on 57 hectares of land. 
about 85% of Jarumbe farm is covered with soybeans, making it the center of soybean production in the district. This farm is uh, almost six years old since it was started, and we have been dealing in crop farming. We have been growing soybeans, groundnuts, maize, some plantation for bananas which has started. So we are mainly in crop farming. The matching grant fund from ESAP has come to help and amplify on what we are doing in the sense that uh, we want to go beyond just uh, production and selling the commodity. We have intended and planned from some time that we should go into value addition. And this is the gap that this uh, project has come to fill in. We are working with the 300 farmers who have been recruited. So far about 56 farmers have received the loan inputs and other farmers are going also to benefit from the, the, the soya beans that we will buy from, from them. Working with Charumbe Investments Limited is a strategy government and IFAD are using to link smallholder soybean farmers in Kapirimposhi to the market. Terence Mbewe is an administrative manager at the farm. The market is everywhere. Um, it's not only in the city, but even around. These days now you find people, there's a lady at the side, she's, she's baking vitumbua and she's using cooking oil. So really the market is everywhere and the good part is that it's um it's vast. So if if you get soya beans and you process it nicely and you make sure that you follow all the health guidelines, I think down to the to the last person we would be able to uplift each and every person. Uh especially looking at this is that we are now somewhere in the value chain. So from uh, linking people who have got no access to the market to producing a, f a finished product. I think for us that w works out really well because, see, a person uh, in the farms, they will not have the market, but they have the property. So once we assist them with this and they, in turn, pay us back with the finished product, then we could, we could take it from there. And because we probably would be in a better position to find the market and obviously maybe um, see a few people here and there, we would be able to uplift each and every person. And people will stop seeing farming as a, as a means of survival. I mean, I think going way back, I think our forefathers did that. Small piece of land, they only have a few, you know, bags, maybe two or three bags for their children to go to school and the rest is just survive the whole year. But we also trying to change the mindset. So um, farming should not be taken as a means of survival, but as a means of, as a business. ASAP has brought a whole new meaning in the lives of Kapirimposhi based soybean farmers. For Mary Murenga, a farmer coordinator at Charumbe Farm, ASAP means women empowerment. <laughs> For 23-year-old Peter Mukupa, ESAP has come with job creation and youth empowerment. Just when I came from Kukushan, Kukoreji, Okonari, I was stagnant, but I had that interest. But I had that interest. So, 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 I So, it was a great opportunity for me. Uh -huh. So, I was like, ah, this is the only opportunity man, I can fulfill with their interest. So, I had that interest. Meanwhile, so I have been farmers in Chipuruka Agricultural Camp of Kapirimposhi District are getting insights into soya bean production in farming as a business schools, FABs. Lutangu Kamona is an extension officer in Chipuruka Agricultural Camp. He narrates how ESAP is transforming lives of farmers in his camp through FABs. We are training our farmers to take farming as a business. So we've got uh, under Chipuruka Camp, we've got four FABs, which are abbreviated as FABs, farming as a business. So we've got four of them. Here where we are, it's uh, called Katunga Fabs, farming as a business. 
under Katunga, we've got uh, mainly the interest was to target uh, households which are more vulnerable with uh, headed house uh, headed females. So practically, we are looking at uh, empowering our women in the community and then uh, the youths as well. So we've got percentages of females and percentages of males in all the four fabs we have. According to the response so far, it's positive and we appreciate the ministry for bringing such an initiative in the camp. Farmers are now busy and uh, acquiring knowledge on what they never knew. So we have to run the first control of the Musongwai. Now we have to the Matthew Zingosa is a lead farmer of Katunga Fabs located in Chipuruka Agricultural Camp in Kapirimposhi. He has been leading the farming as a business school since September 2020 when ESAP launched the Soya Bean Farming School. To date, Matthew has close to 50 committed farmers in his fabs, out of whom about 50% are women and youths. I want to work at Wakamuka Bungwaka, but if Mamma Copet and Mufi Metarican, if you am camp with a search for Luca. So quite you could carry a jester, which go a quamba pop, Kuria, to campu, the what program Mazons of Queer Bungan Cavantu. Why isn't I want to ten ten from my group to my and to your bunker to come with a case? One moment was in the Davan to have. I want to am Kula Sandra Mumbang, if you come when. He describes farming as a business schools as a beneficial strategy for stimulating the soya bean value chain in the country. His farmers are not ashamed to share what they have learned so far about soybean production. Charity, a mother of six, joined Katunga Fabs in September 2020 after Chipuruka Agricultural Campo Extension Officer Lutangu Kamona made a call for participation. Today, she has a lot to share about growing soya beans as a business. Na sambi za mwefi ntu ifingi, fya kwebati, imidi mine ya soya beans nga nalima buino, na biala buino, ya akula buino, imiti fiyonse nde kwa nisha noku kuisha uvulwe lobu ni mundi ni soya beans ya ndi, na mwono kwebati, kanshi fintu fika mpela kwa obu kumu kuntanshi, mwubu ikashi wandi. Charity is confident that growing soya beans will help increase her household income and help educate her six children. Ubukumu bwa ba muri soya binzi na muna mokwe bati soya binzi ikampera ko ubukumu bwa ko bati kunta shinka kwata kwenda lama kalasa mbisha mwa ba na bandi bantu sometimes to arecha tekera fetsi yo mataba min kwataba na nsambisha bana na alaburo tumataba to kwata chitu to abwali na shitisho mwa nae ko school panu ma na lashara ni nsala so no mbanga na lima ko soya binzi elo no mbana ishi bati soya binzi na lima kasambisha mwa bana fya kulanja fwako Aí sabe o que é o teu?